I'd like to begin this section with an example. We'd like to count the number of people that are sitting in six rows of ten chairs if several of the seats are empty. Now, of course, we could just make a direct count of all the people, but there may be an easier way. So let me draw it out for you to show you what I'm talking about here. So now we have six rows of ten chairs each. So I'm drawing the chairs now. And then I'm going to put X's in the chairs to represent the people sitting in them. And as usually happens, the back row is completely filled. Okay, so as I was saying, one way to do this, of course, would be just to make a direct count of all of the people. But there is an easier way. If most of the chairs are filled, and we know how many chairs there are, then it's easier just to count the empty seats, isn't it? So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now there's nine empty seats, and so that means that the number of people must be the total, which is 60 minus the number of empty seats, or 51. And we could confirm that by direct count of the X's. Okay, so it works exactly the same way when we're counting sample spaces. We know that the probability um, of the sample space as a whole must be one because something is going to happen. Uh, so if E is a subset of S, then we may find it easier to compute the probability of E indirectly by finding the probability of its complement. That's, remember this notation here means complement of that set E. And then subtracting that probability from 1. Okay, so in general, we have this formula. The probability of the complement is 1 minus the probability of the event. 